All right, with this module, we're gonna start a new chapter, and that chapter is going to be on phase diagrams, phase equilibrium. And so with this first module, we're going to sort of ask the question, what is the phase? All right, so let's start with the idea of a component. Um, and so a component of a phase diagram um, is either a pure metal or uh, and or it can be a compound, but it has to be a pure material. So some examples here. So if we're thinking about brass, brass is an alloy of copper and zinc, and therefore copper and zinc are both components um, of that system. If we, on the other hand, are looking at a ceramic, such as molite, which has this chemical formula, so it's kind of a blend of aluminum and silicon oxides, then the components there, the pure components, are aluminum oxide, Al2O3, or SiO2. So it doesn't have to be a element, it can be a pure component or compound like we see uh, with some ceramic systems. So a phase, when we talk about a phase, uh, the simplest explanation that we can give for that is that it's a homogeneous portion of a system. And so when I say homogeneous, I obviously mean it's uniform, and uniform down to the atomic molecular scale. And uniform in different characteristics. So it has uniform physical characteristics, uniform chemical characteristics. So examples of this, which you may be familiar with, uh, would be a gas that has similar physical, or sorry, uniform physical and chemical characteristics, and it's homogeneous until you get down to the atomic molecular level, which you can then start to have um, uh, differences, like if you have um, uh, uh, hydrocarbon gas, then you could look at areas that would be hydrogen and carbon, but overall, uh, up until that point, we have uniform characteristics. Uh, liquid, same thing, and then solid solutions, uh, and pure metals. Those are all examples of a phase. And again, they meet this criteria, homogeneous down to the at atomic molecular scale, uh, uniform physical and chemical characteristics. So liquid water is homogeneous. It has a composition of H2O throughout. Um, and again, until you get down to the point where you have hydrogen and oxygen. So until that point, until the molecular scale, uh, it is uniform in composition. And it has uh, uniform physical and chemical characteristics. Okay, so let's kind of look at some other examples of components and phases. So again, the components um, are either elements or compounds, pure, uh, that are part of a alloy if it's a metal um, or a ceramic system. Um, the phases are physically or chemically distinct regions, metal region, uh, material regions that can form. So in one of these aluminum copper alloys, for example, we have aluminum and copper as components. Uh, but when we look at the microstructure, so we basically take a portion of this alloy and put it under a microscope, we can see that there are distinct regions, right? So there's a lighter region and then there's this darker region, so physically distinct. And so we know that there's multiple phases. Uh, so we actually, oops, sorry, um, so the darker region uh, we're going to call alpha uh, or the alpha phase and beta as the lighter region or the lighter phase. So there's multiple phases in this alloy system. So it doesn't always have to be one system. Okay, so what I want to do now is kind of go through a series of examples uh, that you may be familiar with and let's see if it's a phase or not a phase. So if it's a phase it means it's uniform and if it's not a phase it means it's a mixture of multiple phases. So that's kind of the question that we have here. So the first question is about this cup of water. And so I'm not talking about the cup, we're just talking about the water within it. So I want you to kind of ask this, 
question to yourself on each of these and see if you can answer, but is this a phase or not a phase? So in this case, uh, this is liquid water. This is one of the examples we just talked about. It's a single um, phase. It's one phase liquid. It's uniform throughout if we don't consider the, uh, the cup or anything like that. All right, next one. Phase, not a phase. All right, so this is solid water, known as ice, as you're probably familiar with, right? Um, so this is also water, but it's another phase of water. It's solid or ice, and so it is a phase. It's a single phase. It's not a mixture of two. All right, next one here. So again, I'm not talking about the, uh, the beach here. I'm just referring to the water. So phase, not a phase. All right. So in this case, uh, you may be familiar with uh, seawater, right? Seawater is going to be different than tap water. There's typically uh, more salts and things in it. Uh, if we're going to ignore plants and animals that are in the water and just consider the seawater, um, this would also be a phase, right? All the salts and things that are in seawater are dissolved. And so the concentration is uniform. The composition is uniform, right? The salt is evenly... Um, evenly dispersed in the water. And so this would be a phase uh, until, you know, if we want to start making caveats, if you start putting animals and plants and uh, any sort of um, other matter in it, then it would not. But if we're just considering the seawater itself, this would be a phase. All right, last one for this page. Phase, not a phase. All right, so this was the classic example people give of a mixture, right? We have, you can see that the we have water, just like we had over here, but we also have oil, right? And so oil and water do not uh, form a solution. They form a mixture where there's distinct regions of oil and distinct regions of water. So this would be a mixture or not a, a single phase. All right, so now I wanna go over some examples that aren't necessarily water-based, but starting to work with the materials that we're gonna see throughout this chapter. So think about this example, and again, I just want you to focus on this matter here, not the cups or containers. So phase, not a phase. All right, so this is a liquid metal that's being poured out of this container into another container. And so this would be an example of a single phase, right? It's just like liquid water, but it has a different composition, right? It's liquid steel or liquid copper, whatever it may be. So this would be a single phase. What about this? Phase, not a phase. All right, so this is a piece of solid copper and um, copper is a pure material. Um, and therefore it is a single phase solid copper. So basically solid version of maybe something like this. All right, what about this? Phase, not a phase. All right, so this is brass, um, car is cartridge brass to be specific. It is actually an alloy of copper and zinc. And so when you put those two together, you actually form a solution. And so you have copper, but you also have zinc, but it's a uniform solution just like the liquid solution over here. So this is also a phase. Um, and it's okay if you didn't know that. Uh, we're going to actually look at phase diagrams, which would tell us if this is a single phase or a mixture. All right, one last example. This is a steel I-beam. So is this a phase or not a phase? All right, so this is a bit of a trick question. And so we're going to talk about this one in the next slide. So steel um, is an alloy of iron and carbon, um, and it can be a solid solution uh, that's homogeneous to the atomic scale, just like uh, cartridge brass uh, in this case. So if you have very low amounts of carbon, all of the carbon can be dispersed and form a solution with iron. And so you'll get just a uniform phase. So you can just see different um, grains of the same material. However, most steel is uh, not, uh, is above that threshold where carbon is above the saturation point. And so it forms new phases 
here. Uh, so this is basically the same phase as what's over here, but if you add too much carbon, which is most steel, uh, you get this other phase um, that is unique. And so steel, for the most part, is a mixture of phases. So that's just, again, I didn't expect you to know this. This is something we're going to talk about um, in this chapter and the next. And so you'll see uh, what we mean by these phase mixtures.